Okay, so here is how to add or subtract rational expressions with different denominators. Okay, reminding you that rational expressions are just big fractions. So let's go back and talk about two fractions that are not big fractions, that are smaller fractions. Now, if I want to add these right now, I cannot add them because I have different denominators. One is a 3, one is a 5. So you need to get them to be the same in order to add them together. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to change these. And we're going to make them bigger. And we're going to find the next bigger number that 3 goes into that 5 also goes into. Okay, that's called the least common denominator or the least common multiple. And you might know it. What number does 3 go into that 5 goes into? And that is 15. So the LCD for this problem is going to be 15. Maybe you see that. Maybe you don't see it yet. <clears throat> what you can do is we are going to multiply both fractions. And you have to multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing. I'm going to multiply this one times 5 over 5. Right? Reminding you that 5 over 5 is just 1. Anything times 1 doesn't change the value, just change the way it looks. And then over here, I'm going to need to multiply by 3 over 3. Now, my denominator is going to give me 15 here, and it's going to give me 15 here. I will have a common denominator, in which case I can put these two together. So let's do my new fraction, my first fraction. 5 times 1. That's 5 over 5 times 3, 15. 5 over 15 plus my new numerator, 2 times 3, 6 over 5 times 3, 15. And what I did was I took these two fractions and I made them bigger so that they have a common denominator, in which case I can add. Now let's go ahead and add them together. 5 over 15 plus 6 over 15 well, that's 11 over 15. Always look to simplify at this point, but nothing simplifies, so my answer is 11 over 15. Okay. Let's take a look at what would happen if I had a rational expression. So in this case, here's a denominator and here's a denominator. Well, my LCD has to include both of them. So my LCD is going to be x plus 2 times x minus 3, and that's it. Now, what will I need to multiply this fraction by? Well, I have an x plus 2 on the bottom, but what I need is I need an x minus 3. And if I multiply the bottom times x minus 3, I need to do the same thing to the top. Now, this fraction over here, what is it missing? What do I need to multiply? Well, it's missing an x plus 2 on the bottom and an x plus 2 on the top. Now look at my denominators. This is the same as this, okay? And I will be able to add these or subtract these. I couldn't do it before because they were different. So my new fraction on the left is going to be x minus 3 times 7 and I'm going to write it out like this, 7 times x minus 3, all over the common denominator of x minus 3, x plus 2. And now I'm going to subtract 4 times x plus 2 over x minus 3 times x plus 2. All right, now I have a common denominator. And I'm ready to put these together. Let's put them together over my common denominator of x minus 3 times x plus 2. This is 7 times x minus 3. I'm going to distribute in the next step. Okay, now let's distribute the numerator. So I have 7 times x minus 3. When you distribute, you're going to get 7x minus 21, and then super important that this negative is attached to the 4. So this is negative 4 times x and negative 4 times 2. 
you're going to get negative 4x. And then this is where people make the mistake. 4 times 2 is 8, but it is a negative times a positive. So it's going to be minus 8. Okay, and I'm going to put this bold all over my denominator. Now, I don't need to multiply my denominator. I don't need to distribute it out. Okay, in the end, you want this to be factored. I do need to distribute out my numerators because I know that I'm going to be able to put this 7x together with this minus 4x. And I also know I'm going to be able to put this minus 21 together with this minus 8. Okay, let's see what that looks like. 7x minus 4x is 3x. Minus 21 minus 8 is minus 29. All over my common denominator. And now it's like simplifying a rational expression. Can I factor anything out of the numerator? Nope, 29 is prime. So I would try to factor. I'd try to factor the numerator so that maybe something might cancel you know, with something in the denominator, but that doesn't happen. The numerator does not factor, and this is my answer. So the general idea is that if you don't have the same denominator, you need to make your denominator bigger in order for these to match.